now we should perform the same search as we did with using BLAST, but we should actually use SciBLAST. So you start with the same as the BI page, but you, and you click put in BLAST, and you paste your sequence, so it's the same sequence as last time. So this is this uh, P09405 nuclear alien for mouse. And we choose, still choose SwissProt to not have to wait for long, and we just change it to run SciBLAST there. I click submit, and we wait for the results. So now we're waiting for a while. So now we've got the results back, and it's the same scores as before, same identical line. You remember these four hits that were covering most of it, if it did not, and the only first one covered the last part. Uh, so the difference here is that you can run a second iteration, so you can actually even select what sequence to include. Uh, so you can select the maximum number of sequences here, so the max is 500. And uh, uh, sequence in the, so we have about, in this case we have about, doo -doo -doo. Uh, I don't have a number here, so they, they are a few hundred hits. So we can include all of them. So we just click here and run the second iteration. You come back to the same wait page as we did before. So now the result for the first iteration, so iteration two, is uh, by Cybostodon. You can see that it, it, it's pretty similar. You have still one, two, three, four, five, six things here on top. But they are actually covering the whole sequence now. So let's look at one of these alignments. So this is a score, if you look at alignment, this is scored to one of the nucleolines, of course. And you see it really covers the whole sequence. It has a few gaps in it, but uh, that was not aligned all the way out before. You can also see that you have uh, E-values here as general before it was, was fewer zeros and if one or two with one, 10 to minus 100, now we have very much E-values. And you see all these yellow hits here are new proteins that were not found to be before. So these are really, and these are really good alignments. They're not even in the same order. So they are actually, some of them are better or higher hits than even before. So you see you find many, many more hits here that have still very, very good E values. So let's try to run one more iteration. This you do just by clicking here. And then you have to wait again. So now the database is the third iteration is run. You see, still it's like stopped. We have these six sequences that covers everything, and you have a number of other sequences that are covering now everything for 200 to 700 rescues. You see, most of the sequences were found before here because they're not melted yellow. And but when you go down to the lower E values, and the 500 to 600, there are a few new sequences. They actually have very low sequence identity, they have 40% or 30%, percent like that. But E values are still very, very significant in 10 to minus 30. Things like that. And you see, you can find things that are down to 10 to minus 32, etc. So there's some new sequences. So you could keep on running it, but most likely the result will not change that much. So this is really showing the power of side loss, and particularly the ability to get both better scores and better alignments. So this is what enables. Cyblast to be both better and faster than dynamic programming.